Good morning everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Carter MNC and this is our weekly Le Normand rendezvous where we talk everything about the fabulous Le Normand Oracle cards. So for those who have just joined the tribe, I want to welcome you and I want to thank you for subscribing to the channel, showing your interest and your support to this wonderful oracle. So for this week, uh, I'm going to talk about a little technique that is used in the Le Normand and this is called the sum up or the quintessential like I used to call it, call it the quintessence. So what is that? So it's a little technique that you uh, do, a little calculation that you will do when you will do small spread like five, seven or three card spread work best. When you know you ask a question and you feel that oh, the card is not pointing to a clear answer or you're not sure about what is being said so you want to confirm things. So what you do is you sum up the cards and you reduce it to a number less than 36 and you apply this card you know to uh, the spread. This becomes the essence, the quintessence of the spread. And for instance, if you get a number like 28 in your spread and that the main card has already been out in the spread, so you reduce it once more, so it becomes 10 the scythe. If the scythe is there again, you sum up again, 1 plus 0 is equal 1, so you get the rider. But if at the second calculation the card is not in the spread, so you will use it. And this become the clarifier, this become, you know, the essence of the spread. Let's take an example so that you can, you know, get this system a little bit clearer in your head. So let's pretend that you have a client who comes to you and she is asking herself, is my man cheating on me? Okay, so you shuffle the cards and you do your small spread and for instance you get the heart, the garden and the stork. Mm. Intriguing, so heart can be yes, there is love and there is also the garden which means you know there is many people involved in this relationship or there is some kind of social butterflying going around. Then with the the stork, it can represent a woman because it's a queen of heart. So we don't know will I say yes and no and all three cards are positive so it can be yes but it's a positive yes so we don't know really what to do. So let's apply the technique of the quintessence. Let's sum up these three cards. So the heart, the garden and the stork give us the number 61 and when we reduce it to a single number, six plus one, we get seven. And seven is the card of the snake. And the snake, of course, is betrayal, the other woman, you know, there is sneaky things going around. So we can say that, yes, your man really loves you, but there is, you know, other people involved in this relationship because the garden is definitely not a card that you would like to see in a relationship spread, okay? You would like to see uh, the house, which is more of intimacy, comfort, you know, uh, discreet. And you, will, you would like to see the moon. You will maybe sometimes want to see the, the tower when it concerns sex and intimacy. This is really good. This reinforces this atmosphere, but you know, you don't want to see the garden, you know, you want to see more personal card. And the stork, you know, flies away, goes elsewhere, you know, move. So with this technique, we have the snake, okay? And then we can combine the snake. The quintessential card is going to be combined to each and every card in the spread. So we get snake and heart, Snake and garden, snake and stalk, two women. It's a very fun technique that you can do and in less than, you know, a minute, you do your little math in a corner and you get, you know, these precise things, okay? It's really simple, 
really easy and really fun okay you don't need to use it you know all time i don't use it every single time i read the cards but i will use it when i feel lost or you know doubting about you know choosing the heart to be the card of love or is it you know some kind of pain or you know of only its passion so i will use that to confirm my spread so try it and tell me what you think This week question is very interesting. It's coming from a subscriber of the channel and if you are like her, you have a question which can serve for the learning of each and every one of us. I invite you to post them in the comment below this video so I can pick it and put it in my little uh, notebook where I note all these questions and choose one each week. These are going to be, you know, like um a teaching tool you know uh, and maybe these are questions that i have never asked myself but you know it could be helpful this one is asking is there uh, a, an auspicious day a best day to do court reading okay is there you know a, a special day so first thing i will say from my own experience for thousands of reading there is no special day okay you come to the cards when you need them when you need wisdom when you need to be guided when you need to have information so there is no uh, prescribed time to do that and um, if i would choose the best day for someone to get a reading will it will be of course you know the, the person's birthday my birthday is coming up in march so like Every year what I do is I do a grand tableau and I put the intention that the grand tableau will reveal me things that I will be dealing with and coming on my plate and you know and this will cover us from this birthday to the next one okay and I will videotape everything or note everything and each time that I will have a question I will look at this grand tableau and you know during a whole year the tableau will reveal me things maybe question that I didn't ask because I didn't knew it was coming but when I look in the tableau I see it when it arrives to me so I'll keep that well you know clear and come to it each time that I need. But there is no special day. So in some French uh, or European uh, school of cartomancy, the best day for reading cards is believed to be Wednesday. Okay, it's the day of Mercury. So it's the day that you have the, the most clearest message. Uh, some spiritual people feel like Fridays are very powerful and you know they will do their card readings exclusively this day so in any case do what feels good for you but for my part I don't choose a special time you know I will not do readings when I am sick of course because you know I will not be focusing on the card I will be focusing on my pain and this is not good uh, I will not uh, pull the cards uh, also when there is drama going around, there is, you know, uh, hard things coming up in my life. So I will not because I will be focusing upon the drama and not listening to the wisdom. And I would perhaps interpret the cards the way I would love things to happen. So these are times that I will not touch the card. I will let, feel, I will let things set down you know, be more peaceful and clearer and get more information, of course, before, you know, going to the cards and asking there for the wisdom. So there is no special day for a card reading. It's always the good time. And I'm going to pull three cards and uh, see what they have as a message for everyone watching this video and this entire week. And the first card is the lady followed by the house. Then we see the snake again. The snake, there is no 
coincidence, like we say. So um, the house is the focus card for this week. So the house is asking you really to, you know, sit comfortably and take care of your house, take care of your family, take time for yourself as well to settle things down. It's a period where you're going to consolidate your project, consolidate things around you, consolidate relationship, uh, maybe protecting your house, decluttering your house and preventing some harmful person also to enter your space. The house is also the sacred space where family live and you're going to take care of that with the lady and the snake. And there can be some little quarrel go, going on between two sisters, two person watching this video and maybe they are arguing because of a property or because of a family member. But you know, don't let anyone, you know, take your power. The lady is the lady querent and she has all the power and all the determination needed to go forward. So even if we have a snake as the last card, which is the card of advice, the snake is asking us to really, you know, stand up and, um, you know, and defend what is yours. You know, don't let people come and take your privacy, take your, invade your space, you know, intoxicate your space. You have the power to shed skin. You have to power, you have the power, sorry, to let go of all this drama and really, really, you know, looking for good things coming up. It's not the first time that we have the snake as their advice for the week. And, you know, it will be coming Again and again, if we don't apply this advice, there will be like sort of pattern going on. And even if things seems to be dangerous with the snake, slippery, coiled, and we don't know how to deal with this, the cards are telling you that your power is inside the house. The power is there. It's just a thought and a thought can be changed. So leaving you with all this wisdom from the Lenormand Oracle, I wish you all a wonderful, blessed week and look forward to talk to you next week. Bye.